Hey guys, today I'm going to show you Dropbox basics. So we're going to first start with your computer and then we're going to go into your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, okay, and how to set it up there. Same thing for Android, okay. So first of all, go into Dropbox.com and you guys will have to create. So you can sign up for one free, so just put in your name, email and create a password that you want for it. If you've done this from before, then you can just click on sign in and on sign in just put your email. Now remember guys, your email, um, it should be a Google email. It's uh, always better that way, so make sure to make a Gmail account before you sign up for Dropbox. And once you're in, you may see something like this. So right now it's empty. Now you can put your photos here and everything like that. You get a couple gigs free and you can earn more gigs for free for Dropbox. However, if you guys just want to upload simple files, we're just going to type right here on the first option. Just click there. So this is empty. To add something here, you do have these icons up here. So I'm just going to zoom in because they're pretty small. And uh, right here, for example, we have upload, new folder, and share folder. So you can share this stuff with people and you can always delete it from your Dropbox. So we're going to upload something just for you guys to see. And um, we're just going to click on select folder. From our desktop, we're going to load up this GIF file. And it should be done really fast. Okay, so it depends how big it is how long it's gonna take to load up but it's pretty fast and you can do this from any computer so you don't need to have drop the Dropbox installed on the computer that you're using Dropbox okay that's a cool thing about Dropbox you can access it from anywhere basically but if you want to have it right there on your computer for example on your Mac then you have to download Dropbox so we're just gonna go right here and we can see how many gigs we have and we can see this install button okay so what you guys want to do is click on install and then we're gonna download Dropbox so just click on free download once it's downloaded we can just click here here's the DMG file we can just double click on that should open up right, right, right away Double click on this open and here we go. So it shouldn't take long at all in order to download this and install on your computer. It's pretty basic. Now this works for Mac and PC. It's pretty much the same way of installing. For PC you will see a .exe file. So it's a little bit different. But in the end it's the same way that you handle it. And no matter if you have it installed on your Mac, you can always go to a PC and uh, just going to Firefox or Google Chrome and go into your Dropbox and add more stuff or take away stuff. You can do a lot of things, okay? Um, so once you have it downloaded, okay, you can open my Dropbox. Let's just click OK. And on, P on Mac, you will see this, okay, on your favorites, okay, just under that, you should see something like this, okay? So in Finder window, you will see Dropbox. And from here, so right now, if you have it installed, anything that I put here or take away from here will be updated on the server. So that's a cool thing if you download the app for your Mac or PC, that anything that you put here will be uploaded and downloaded at the same time. All right. Now if you have an iPhone, you will see this right away as long as you have the app installed on your iPhone. That it's also free. So I'm going to show you that right now. Let's just go right into it. So I just downloaded that and I got that message from Dropbox. So my Dropbox should be right here. And the file should be uploaded. Yeah, there we go. So three minutes ago I uploaded this. So I can view this on my Dropbox. I can share it and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you the basics of sharing something. Now, um, for most of you, that will take place right here from your Dropbox. So we can just go online, which is the easiest way to do it. So let's just get out of here. Go back to my Dropbox and let's say we want to share this. There's a button right here that says share. Okay, so this is the link that you guys want to share. So it's just about the, the link, okay? You can get, you guys can put an email right here to the person that you want, a message, or you guys can just copy this link and post it on, on Facebook or anywhere. And that's the link to that specific file. Now you guys can share your, your entire library in your Dropbox, however, I do suggest just uh, sharing one file at a time. It's just better that way. Um, like I said, once you have it installed on your Mac, so let's just look at my Mac right here. Um, if I take this off right here, so I'm going to delete it 
just to show you guys. So right now I'm in Finder and I'm gonna delete it just by pressing Command Delete. And I'm gonna, there we go. Even without emptying my trash bin on the website, you guys will see that it's gone. Okay, and if I go to my iPhone right now, it should be gone right now as well. So let me just uh, give you guys a quick preview into my iPhone. So we can still see that it's there, but if I refresh this, it's gone. Okay, so it takes a second to refresh and then I have no more files. So that's the basics of your Dropbox. Remember, you do have a couple gigs. However, I do suggest um, sharing your files and just uh, trying stuff free so you guys can get more space on it. And if you really like it, then upgrade. Um, it's not that expensive with Dropbox and it works really, really well. In comparison with other type of apps out, out there, it, this one kind of works like iCloud. So remember, you also do have your iCloud if you have an iPhone or something like that, which gives you 5 gigs. And on top of that, you can have this Dropbox, so it's really working out well. With that many gigs, you guys shouldn't be running out. But again, you could be upgrade if you want, and you have to pay a monthly thing for that. Um, those are the basics for Dropbox. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.